Hello my soccer universe. In case you didn't know it, being a Lost Quinn sort of sucks at times. Yes, you ran into a better opponent and you're out of the cup once more and there's the next title chance. Begging, still waiting for the first titles in 1965. And yeah, I have the feeling that at the moment Lusk is in a period where winning a title is within reach. Which I only had once before in my life as a Lusk fan in the late 90s. <sighs> it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Yes, I said it. You ran into a better team. You ran into a better team, a more efficient team. And this is exactly the difference. Uh, when you look at the game, it is all, uh, you do everything right. The only thing is you don't put the round thing into the goal. And that's the difference at this level. And any small mistakes will be punished. And if you want to win a title, uh, especially a cup title, you need to beat the big teams and you need to show up. So that's where I stand. I want to quickly recap the cup action, and especially the experience we had in the stadium, because my girls insist, despite last losing, they actually had a really, really good time in the stadium, which I also found rather interesting. Well, there was quite a few things happening before the game, and so it was kind of imperative to be early there. First off, there was a world record attempt there, which happened 20 minutes before the game for simultaneous CPR, simulated CPR. More on that later, but there is another new thing. If you go now to the concession stands, they have new cups. And I have to say, it's a genius idea. You know, for the cup, you give a deposit of two uh, euros and you, of course, get this back once upon returning. And, of course, this is a way also to make money if you make the cup appealing. Look what they made cups now. For every player, there is a cup. And, of course, I wanted to return it. The girls, no, we want to keep it. And the collector me always kind of saying, yeah, okay, it's cool. So if number 16, Andrat, and number 17, Usor, and there are many, 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 many more. The question is, where do you put that stuff? <laughs> but, you know, as a last queen, as a collector, I think it's, it's a genius idea. It's a genius idea to make some extra bucks and to not have to return money. I have to give them credit for, for, for that. Do I condone it? Not necessarily, but bravo, 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 bravo. As for the world record attempt uh, for simultaneous CPR, how is this done? Well, on every seat there was this card with this foam heart and basically what you had to do is you had to put the heart on your lap or if you were standing in front of you and then for two minutes pump, 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 pump doing CPR uh, to the rhythm of uh, staying alive. Um, the idea was the record is 12,000 they had more than 12,000 people in, in, in the stadium, but when I look, look around how many participated, oh, I don't think it's even close to them at the 12,000 for sure. So I don't think the world record is happening. Maybe there's an up, uh, up, uh, update on it meanwhile, but I don't think it did happen. But I think it was an interesting uh, thing. It was a fun thing. And guess what happened after these two minutes? There was a counter for two minutes. Guess what happened after two minutes were over? I give you one wild guess. What did happen? Everyone, almost everyone, was throwing this. Uh, once the fan block did it, uh, it was raining these cartons all over the place. Shows you how stupid people actually really are. Uh, my girls collected these like crazy. We have so many hearts because you can take the hearts off. We have so many hearts on this and I will give this now to my girls too. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. But we have hearts. We have hearts. You know, they are girls. They like hearts. But... Let's get on, on, on to the game. I have to say, the stadium was buzzing. There was a great TIFO by the Lusk fans. Who wants to have some stress with Hercules, if you would like? And as a transparent, you know, Hercules taming the bull on the horns and then, you know, some Greek stuff. And Pyro 
which of course since being a cup game and it's uh, it means but it was a football fair federation there's no parallel up and no one really cared about that uh, it was also some issues with the sound system because most of the announcements of the speaker did not really get through which added a little bit to the comic uh, atmosphere in general I have to say the stadium was positively buzzing for this game and so was I. I mean, yes, it is Salzburg who brought very little fans, I have to say. You outsiders, but you have a chance to beat them. And I have to say for the first 10-15 minutes, Lask really put Salzburg un under pressure. Did not create a clear goal scoring opportunity per se, but there were enough chances. If the ball falls the right way and you put your foot on it, it could go in, in, in into net. Of course, it doesn't help that former last goalie who just had moved to Saar Salzburg was between the sticks, uh, which was kind of a little bit an iffy point. And it is really sad to see him there because, you know, last season he was with us, be it as that may. Um, Lask really played well until they gave away a free kick in the 16th minute and the free kick is weakly defended corner two with this suddenly pretty free puts it into the net first chance fortunately corner two has also made a big mistake just two minutes later and Lubicic could equalize great we're back in in the game and then same thing again and then it's a corner kick where there was obstruction on Laval which was not given a key got corner and Fernando puts it in the net 2-1 uh, and at that point, I have to, have to say, this is the first goal that has been scored in the stadium that I wasn't really aware of because I was a little bit um, distracted by, by, by my girls, but it was just... Uh, they twice in front of goal, twice the score. They almost scored the third, third, third one before, fortunately, they had, they had, that was an offside. There were some shots in there. As I said, I don't think at last created many chances, but they created so much pressure on Salzburg that most, most of the game was played in the opponent's half. And with some luck and some bounce, you could get in. You could have gotten another goal, but then it's exactly Oscar Gloch. It's a throwing. You lose the ball right, right there. Oscar Gloch plays a really nice ball to Fernando, and he makes his second goal. It's three-one, and I think everyone knew that. That's the game, and. Yes, he could, could have turned. I mean, then for the next 50 minutes or 20, 20, 20 minutes, Salzburg South, South really controlled the game and calmed it down. There was not much hype happening. But then the uh, uh, coach Sagida brought on the, ca the ca cavalry. Uh, it got really, really offensive, and the, the, the chances came. The chances were there to uh, to be scored, but there were some brilliant saves by Schlager in there. And at that time, I thought, the one thing I don't want to have, let it, let, 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 let it be a 3 a three one. I don't want to ask the what if question. Don't score a goal when it's way too late. Of course, they score a goal when it's way too late in the nine, 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 nine for me, it wasn't even made a, a minute later to get the referee called it a game. It, as I said, it was frustrating in that sense. However, with the cups and the hearts, my girls really liked it. And I have to say, I had fun with them there too. I was gutted for the result, but overall, I think it was a nice evening out. It was great to be back in the in, in, in the stadium, and yes, Salzburg is the only team that we haven't beaten in the new stadium yet, which is also meh, a little bit of meh stuff. Uh, it's one of it's one of one of, the, one of the teams where we always lost, I should say, because everyone else we at least got a point from. But yeah, and what's even more calling is we see them two more times uh, in the spring, which I'm not looking forward to them. I am really not looking forward to them, but hey. There be it. Uh, it also a little bit sucks because this was, you know, uh, we bought the slightly expensive uh, season ticket for the family because the cup games are included. So that was the one game that counted. Yes, we got the jerseys as uh, as well. So I guess we got that money it's worth. We got a nice eve evening out. It was fortunately not too cold. So that was last class out. <laughs> Or, or, or said it's Sal and Salzburg have, have, have been considered now the big favorites for that cup title. Let's uh, quickly talk about the other games too. Uh, right after the last game, 
Beispiel und Graz kickt auf against aus, aus, aus Ravenna and almost similar to Salzburg We're just way more efficient scoring early through Tommy Horvath in the nine and that's and beer uh, just before half time where Gruber had one or two really good chance chances in the first half to actually get an equalizer and if you don't make your chances you will not advance and Sturm Graz is just a better team than Austria Vienna we have to say that also very 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 clearly and uh, probably the one team that probably could challenge Salzburg among the ones that are left uh, we had a real sensation with uh, second tier Leoben beating Altach who had really high hopes for the first time to make it to the semi-final Leoben have been in cup finals before and I think the last time we were cup final lost to Rapid Vienna which is 995 which was the last time that Rapid won something so uh, it's not a, such a sensation although it is a sensation because this is a team that just got promoted from the third tier up into the sec second tier uh, there's some unrest with sponsorship around them but uh, they are a, 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 a actually a well constructed team and I think they are playing the upper half in the second league uh, the game was also marred by a really 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 bad pitch I mean visible holes in the on the grass when you look at it from the T uh, the, the TV and the Altach actually said as much they didn't want to count as much of an uh, excuse but the way they said it it was uh, Danny Alla, former Rapid player, I think, was the big hero. hero. He scores in the nine, nine, ninth minute. Uh, Rainer can equalize and then with a really, really nice uh, shot, uh, Alla in that 88th minute wins it for Leoben, who now move on. Uh, the thing is, and this is a, a downside of the cup, that uh, lower league will not automatically have a home game, so they need to hope, I hope, a little bit the luck of the draw that they get, for instance, Rapid or Sturm at home, where they probably will like to move on to the final and then rapid as i said the cup doesn't guarantee the second league team to play at home uh, against the first league team so we had rapid against st burton fortunately for st burton Rap uh, rapid stadium is not too far away from from them i think it's at most a 40 minute drive uh but still but still i think they should have a home game uh then we gave it their all uh nuts actually scored a penalty which is hands hands penalty but Grul also hands penalty both of our decisions got um uh, were scored rapid playing in the new uh celebratory i think 125 year jer jersey they have half jerseys that sold up out in no time a very limited blah 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 and that is a story in 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 itself i have to say the jerseys look nice they have an old logo for rapid um not sure i need in them in my collection uh though to be honest uh the game then turned late in 77th ramsebner from a lot of last player scores and on on goal and seidel makes it 3-1 and rapid also move on and if you watched my history of the austrian cup video you know that Rapid is really, really looking forward to win finally a cup title again, the first one since 95. They are not a cup team by any means. Can I tell you anything about the semifinals? Yes, because the draw will happen on the 11th. Don't know why, but that's how it is. So we, we'll see. I actually, if you would ask me, I would like to see Leom against Sturm Graz and I would see, like to see um, Rapid against Salzburg. I think this could be in could be interesting to give the two favorites a little bit of a tougher task on the other side Salzburg Rapid I want Rapid out as well so yeah but I want the Salzburg to get a little bit of a challenge so maybe going to Rapid this would be my dream draw uh, but frankly I don't care anymore I really don't care anymore um, that was a chance that was a good good chance you had to beat the best team at home didn't take it and there you go in any case let me know what you thought about the Austrian Cup. If you saw any, any, anything, if you have any questions or, or whatever comments, please drop below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon about more from Austria, other leagues and other things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.